Hey there, it's Brittany. I'm back with another unboxing from Anne Marie. She is an angel. I didn't know, she did not e email me that this one was coming. Um, I kind of just got notification from UPS that something was coming in the mail and I was like, oh my goodness. So I am just gonna jump in. There are a few different types of things in here. I kind of peeked because I was just shocked, but um, let's get started. I'm seeing some gemstones and some um, check glass, but I think there's some other things in here too. So this is Chris cola nuggets and I honestly don't think I have any Chris cola so I didn't really know what it was when it popped it open but look at that look at that if I could be a bead today it would be a strand of Chris cola beads so beautiful look at this one look at this one look at all of them <laughs> I know I'm super annoying but I I love 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 them love them they make me so happy I want to make a bracelet immediately with those and some leather or something um my gosh let's go through let's go through okay so what is this maybe appetite yeah it's like a it's like a easter egg hunt i don't know what it's gonna be um yeah that's beautiful if i have any appetite i don't have much and this is a gorgeous strand look at that little nuggets little nugs sometimes i call goldia nugget or in my little nug <laughs> or my noodle or my chicken noodle soup but she's got a lot of different names okay <laughs> look at this another strand of gorgeous pearls oh my gosh these are beautiful so the one strand she sent me was very similar to this but it was more purple and these are more like blue gray purple I don't know how to explain it but they're gorgeous coins thank you Emery oh my goodness there are more pearls in here too. Pearls are some of my favorites. They are right here. These are like silvery. They're stunning. Look at this one with the, the circle in the middle. I love that. These are so beautiful. The pearls like this and like this are definitely the beads that I want to be the, the center or the focal point of a necklace. I don't want to do something too complicated to pull away from those so ah I need a plan <laughs> I need a plan um we've got a beautiful I think this is a mukite heart and I don't think it has a hole so I I need to learn how to wire wrap it I've done some wire wrapping like that in the past um I'm just not the best at it. it's not my forte yep mukite super cute I love the yellow and the mukite Um, I'm going to say maybe Botswana agate. Would you look at that? Six millimeter. These are really fantastic. You know, at first I wasn't really impressed with Botswana agate, but then I found an old necklace of my grandmother's and it was so cool. And it was like 80s, like total 80s necklace. And, um, I, I kind of I still have it I don't I haven't changed it yet but I want to I want to either restring it or just reimagine it and I think these would be super helpful with that oh my goodness um I'm gonna say this is some kind of opal I don't think it's rose quartz but I could be very wrong about that <gasps> I was right pink opal nuggets gorgeous I don't have uh, if I have any I don't have a lot of pink oval I want to make a bracelet out of that like always when I see the really really nice gemstones I'm like oh bracelet 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 <laughs> I want to get that energy helping me out <laughs> I'm gonna say maybe impression jasper on this one or sediment sea sediment jasper whichever one you want to call it blue copper turquoise uh, eight millimeter so this is it looks like sediment sea sediment or imperial jasper to me impression jasper whatever you want to call it um and it feels like that too so i think that's what this is gorgeous though really cute for a necklace maybe with some like matte silver antique silver or something we've got some larimar some more chips just look at this I love Larimar look how pretty that is oh my gosh look at that guy right there 
that long little chip. Oh, love those. Love that. Thank you, Amory. And then we've got, you know, maybe some kind of Jasper. She sent me some Jaspers that I've never seen before. Silver leaf agate. Okay. That is neat. It's just so cool. I love that. They're so different in each one. Yeah, I don't have any silver leaf agate. If I do, I, I don't know where I got it. And I don't remember it. So now I do, and I'm very excited. And I'm pretty sure this one's gonna be bronzite. Bronzite top drilled nuggets. Oh, that's cool. I love it. it. Makes them look more like pebbles. Now, I don't know if you can see in the bronzite, there's a little bit of a chatoyancy in there. So it almost looks like a, like a tiger eye, but it's not. It's, it's not like as uniform as tiger eye usually is. This has like pieces, I think, of pyrite in it. I could be really wrong about that, but I think they are. Those are cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I think that was it for that little baggie. Now I'm going to try and get everything into one video because I have, I've been so behind um, with my mom being here. It's been really hard for me to edit and post. Um, but I'm behind on like three videos of Anne Marie and I definitely want you all to see the things that she sent because she's just got such an amazing collection. So I will be posting them, but you might not see this one for a while because I got to post two or three other ones. But anyway, I want them all to be in one video this time. Um, so we've got synthetic Baltic Amber triple A grade. That is fun. Those are gorgeous. Look at those. I just can't wait to use those in a necklace and a bracelet with some maybe some turquoise I don't know oh look these shell beads yeah she wrote shell these shell beads have a nice like cute orange um giraffe motif but they match that orange is spot on you don't see that sometimes oranges are really hard to match so that's really fun to see thank you Anne-Marie and then I seeing I think some premium crystal and I'm using my uh, quotations here <laughs> um, so these are preciosa uh, uh, pieces let's see we've got a cute little um, bezel and a beautiful preciosa teardrop in my favorite color oh my goodness oh my goodness look I could look at this all day all day long my goodness next I'm seeing these and it says Swarovski so I'm wondering all the oh my gosh she said my favorite color in so many different beads oh Emery thank you look at these I barely have any Swarovski but look at those those are stunning with that beautiful half a B on there and then we have Oh, these are like opalescent or opalite-ish, translucent. And they're showing up more blue in the picture here, but they're, they've they got a little bit of aqua hint to them. And then what are these? These are just Drux, but I'm thinking they're also uh, Swarovski. Those are beautiful. Such a pretty color. Oh my gosh. It's between like robin egg and cerulean. So it's not like a true, um, it's just blue. It's just a good blue. And then we've got all oh, these teeny tiny ones. Those are gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Look at the sparkle on those. Stunning, 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 stunning. And then some bicones. These are beautiful. They're opaque. Oh my gosh. So beautiful. Love that. And some smaller blue bicones. Those are gorgeous. And some little barrels. My goodness. These are beautiful. Thank you. I kind of, I, mean, I know I'm going to hoard those because I don't 
have any so I, they're going to be hoarded for a little while because I can't face using them. <laughs> uh, my favorite out of that were these. Um, I got this one. It's just so stunning. And then these two. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Amory. Next, we're going to move on to um, some check glass. But before that, it looks like there's a pendant in here and faux cinnabar. Cinnabar pendant. And it's like it's got a probably a Chinese symbol on it. Beautiful. I, and if anybody knows what that says, whether it goes this way or this way thinking it's probably this way um let me know because i have no idea what it says and sometimes I'm, I'm a little wary of wearing things that i can't understand or read because i don't want to offend anybody so let me know what that says and then look we've got a bag of beautiful check glass beads oh my gosh y'all bargain bead box i haven't really bought from in a while because Anne marie sent me such beautiful beads but they had a spring cleaning sale and I went bananas with the with the uh, mystery packs. So those are coming soon. These are gorgeous. I was dreaming about beads that look like this last night. Oh my gosh, they're teal with gold wash. Beautiful, like elongated. Well, they're, they're teardrops, but they look like the, the melon beads that check glass beads usually come in. And we've got some etched barrels, etched fire polish barrels. So when I usually when I post the videos showing things that Mam Marie has sent, they ask where she gets them. She received them from a family member and has sent them to me as a gift. She doesn't sell. So um, I would recommend listening to the words I'm using to describe the beads if you're looking for beads that look like this, because you can usually use those as keywords in your searches through Google or Etsy. So in this one, I'm saying these are etched fire polish barrels or etched fire polish beads and they're check. So these are brown and gold. Um, and I'm guessing you'll find similar or beads that have that same effect if you use those search parameters. So for these, oh, I don't think I've ever seen these before. Um, these are table cut rondelles in red with uh, probably a luster. These are gorgeous. These are gorgeous. These are gorgeous too. I'm going to keep saying it. I mean, I, I'm going to be a broken record here. These are ammonites with a, a copper wash. These are really pretty. It's a turquoise two-tone bead. They're very stormy looking. Some matte peach or pink melons. Oh, so yummy! Makes me want to have a pe like a peach bellini. And then these are these aren't turbine beads. Um, I can't remember the name for these, but they're gold and brown. Um, gosh, they're close to turbine, and maybe they are turbines, but they're kind of like melon turbine hybrids really pretty oh we've got more faces we've got more faces so pretty love those look at that guy and i can't tell is it clear or pink i think it's i think it's pink i think we've got a little bit of pink going on there so cool love these uh thankfully i didn't put them in my cart because i had them in my cart <laughs> Um, I'm bargain be box, but I put them back because my order was enormous. So love these. Thank you so much. I love that blue. These actually go really well with the la um, lapis stuff that I've been using. So maybe I'll put those over by my lapis for a little while, which I, y'all, I dropped, I dropped the tray on the floor. I, I didn't cry. I didn't cry. I just laughed hysterically for a little while. And then I picked it up and moved on about my day. But my gosh, when that happened, my heart sank. Um, thankfully it was more contained than flying across the entire bead room. Look at these, they're green. They've got that, um, satin finish and their skulls and crossbones are so cool. They're so cool. They look like they should be in a Halloween movie. I love them. We've got some cute little flowers. 
beautiful. They've got that almost chatoyancy in them with that satin with that satin finish again with uh, some copper or bronze wash. Some beautiful turquoise sea translucent flowers. I love this kind. Oh my gosh, I haven't seen a sun in this color. I have some of these, but not in this color. Oh, I love it. Oh my goodness. Look at them. Um, it's turquoise and bronze. I love it. Love it. Love it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That would, it's going on a bracelet. I need to have like 300 years of jewelry making time. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, these beautiful shells. Look at that beautiful glow that purples, that purple luster is pushing off. Oh my gosh. Love it. Gorgeous. I don't have anything that looks like this. Well, now I do, but I haven't seen these before. So I would call these like flower, pressed flower beads, but that, that can bring you up so many different types of check glass. These look almost like medallion flowers or something like that. These are gorgeous, a beautiful cobalt or electric blue with a rose gold wash. Those are nice. Call it rose gold because it just seems a little bit lighter than the coppers we've seen so far. Oh my goodness, cute little clear green flowers. Oh, they're not clear. That one side, ha oh, side has a metallic that's making the rest green. That is so wonderful. They're so fresh looking. Really beautiful. I saw a mix that's in the uh, Beads and Blooms uh, class kits that would go really well with these green flowers. I almost bought a bunch of strands of these, so thank you. Good looking out, Anne-Marie, because I almost bought them, and now I don't have to. <laughs> They're gorgeous. I love these multicolor fire polish beads. They make me super, super duper happy. We've got some turbines. Wow, it's really hard to pin down the colors on this. Purple, I'm seeing purples and blues and greens, and some Picasso. Next, I'm seeing these really wild table cut beads. These are cool. These remind me of like a, a still life portrait of fruit for some reason. Like it's just a little, little darker than the regular fruit that you would see. That's why it, I don't know. My brain goes weird places, guys. Okay. <laughs> beads give me weird ideas. <laughs> um, oh my gosh. Okay. So we got some little table cut zigzaggy guys and a nice blue sea blue I would call that gorgeous ocean blue Ooh, some red large hole melons used to be great for leather look at the big hole on those those are stunning they're not just flat red either it's like a couple different reds swirled together there we've got some bright green I don't know this shape, but they've got, I mean, they're a kind of table cut in some spots with a nice gold finish on them. Those are wonderful. Now these aren't quite melons. They're more round, I would say, than melons are, but they're, I mean, I guess you would use melons to find these, but this is that satin um, glass with a gold wash. These are beautiful. Very hefty beads too. Those are what, 10 millimeter? These are gorgeous. Look at that psychedelic AB inside those. Wow, look at that metallic looking finish in there. And then the, the blue part itself is matte. Such a neat bead. Love that, it's like a mandala. We've got some horse eye beads in red love those horse eye because of the shape I'm assuming that's the only name I've heard these called some dahlia flowers it's like a red and a white red and white and gold gorgeous I think that would go with any season actually Ooh, some etched rondelles or etched pebbles in orange and that's just really cool 
I don't have very many orange um, check beads and it makes me sad. So I'm happy to get some new ones. <laughs> Super cute. Um, oops, some little tulips. Gorgeous. These almost look like, um, oh, what's the word? Gosh darn it, I can't remember. Some kind of glass, um, not Vaseline. I can't remember the name. Um, usually lamps are made out of it, vases, things like that. I can't, I can't believe I can't remember the name. I'll put it at the bottom of the screen if I remember. Um, some more, these are like UFO beads. Cute, 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 cute. Love those. And these are, oh my gosh, these are cool. She sent a couple of these, these a couple times, but in different sizes. Check seed beads, but these are large and in charge. And look at the big hole on those. Look at the stripes. Those are super cool. Those look almost like jelly beans. I love them. Thank you, Anne Marie. Oh my goodness. Okay, we have five left. We've got some more melons, and this is a beautiful color. The muted teal, the bronze luster. Super wonderful. They're uh, they're kind of matte. Yeah, they're I would call those matte another set of melons with a larger hole i don't think i would call these large hole but they have larger hole than normal for um check glass beads it's beautiful mercury glass is what i was thinking of for the tulips that i was showing you gosh i couldn't remember it to save my life these reminded me of mercury glass but with an ab finish some beautiful blue flowers these go really well with those blue flowers we saw earlier so maybe i'll use them in something together gosh those are cool super cool okay and we have two more things um these purple flowers i haven't seen this shape before lovely gorgeous and then last but certainly not least some easter eggs in silver i did get some from bargain bee box but they were all gold and they weren't i don't think i got any solid blue ones these are gorgeous oh my gosh i love how hefty these are oh i'm gonna be hoarding those for a little bit a little while <laughs> oh my gosh emory thank you so much um i think you are an absolutely lovely lady and i just appreciate you so much thank you for sending me these beautiful beads um my favorite are these eggs um oh i can't choose why are you making me choose i think i'm making me choose these flowers and the pearls um it's just absolutely stunning thank you so much um i hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day thank you for watching and stay tuned for colty she's super super cute have a good day Bye bye